Okay, that's four groups. Let's do five. Five, uh, how I draw it. And there's a couple different ways. You could draw it slightly differently, but this is what I'd recommend. Something like that, where this X here is coming towards you. So I could actually draw it with a wedge if I wanted to, but most people, when they see this shape, they, it's assumed. So the lower X is coming towards you. The upper X here, this X is going away from you. So I could draw it with a dash if I wanted to, but I think this is a little simpler. Okay? So this is called, um, and there's going to be a lot of these. This is called trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. It, the triangle is the middle of it, and then it looks like there's a pyramid on top and on bottom. The bond angles here are uh, 90 between these two, 90 degrees, and between these, it's 120. So there's really two bond angles. The three in the middle all have 120 bond angles. The between uh, either of these two and any of these three will have 90 degree bond angles. All right, now that's five groups, by the way. So now I'm going to go five groups, one lone pair. So I'm going to take one off. For various reasons, I won't really go into it, and I haven't seen, I haven't really seen any good explanation of this. The, the, the one of these three will fall off has to do with how the electrons are all bunched up and who would prefer to go off first. Well, one of these three will go off. Usually you see they take this the one on the left off, but it doesn't matter. So, that's one lone pair. Still five groups. This is still trigonal bipyramidal electronic geometry, but it's molecular geometry. Now it's called seesaw. That's one lone pair. Let's do two lone pairs. When two lone pairs happen, it's going to take another one uh, of the triplet of, uh, of X's. So one of these two. Uh, usually how we draw this is in this fashion. You don't have to, but this is how you usually see it, see it drawn. Something like that. This, hopefully, if you tilt your head to the side, looks like the letter T. And so, thus, this is called T-shaped. Finally, you can take three off, taking all this, uh, those X's off in the middle. And what do you think that shape is? Just linear, and then hopefully it looks linear. It's different than the linear you saw before with two groups. That has five groups, but still linear. Let me put it in the bond angles. For seesaw, it's still 120 and 90. So let's say T-shaped, if you look at it, what are the bond angles? Well, they're both a T. Yeah, it has to be 90. There's nothing else it could be. When you look at linear, what does it have to be? It has to be 180. So which ones on seesaw are 120 and which ones are 90? On seesaw, these two are at 120. And uh, from this one on the top to either of these is 90. Or this one on the bottom to either of these is 90. Okay. So they're perpendicular to each other. The two in the middle are perpendicular to the two, either on top and bottom. Okay? All right, let's do six now. I might have to do a little erasing, but let me see if I can fit it. Six, we typically draw something like this. You'll see it in a couple different ways, but I think that's the easy. Draw it like a Cartesian coordinate system, where 
Uh, a is in the middle. So no groups, this is called, uh, I mean, no lone pairs, it's six groups. Octahedral. All the bond angles are 90 degrees. You have a Cartesian coordinate system, they're all 90. Sometimes people say 90 and 180, but I just think 180 is uh, twice of 90, so I don't write both. So it's, it's 90, essentially everything's 90, some are twice, two times 90, 180. Okay, if you have one lone pair, usually we put that on the bottom one. Right there. And, oh, by the way, the X's that are lower, just like the five group, the trigonal bipyramidal, these are coming towards you. They could be wedges, they're coming towards you. These two X's up here, these two X's up here, they're going away from you. Okay? So you could draw these two with dashes, but you kind of get the idea, want to min minimize the amount of uh, dashes and wedges we're drawing just to make it look simpler. So anyways, this is a pyramid with a square base. So we call this square pyramidal. Square pyramidal. The bond angles are still 90. Okay. If we take two of the X's off, so now that we have two lone pairs, we draw it as such. It doesn't totally matter where you put the electrons, wherever you feel like them, putting them. But you can see this now looks, it's still bond angles of 90, it's just a square. So we call it a square planar, kind of analogous to trigonal planar. But this one's square planar. Still 90 degree bond angles. Uh, and now you don't really see it, and some of these you don't really see in nature. So I'm just giving you the full list. You don't really see it with three electron, three lone pairs, but uh, let me draw it with four. Again, some of these you don't really see, but just to draw it out to fill out the table. If you had four, what does it look like? It looks linear. So what do you think the bond angle would be? 180. Okay? So that's how I draw them if you're asked to draw it in 3D. Even though some of them are kind of 2D, to actually draw out the shape, that's how I draw it depending on what it is.